Hello everyone and welcome back. This lecture will be slightly longer. Here in this lecture we will learn how to connect electrical circuit to a multiphysics model. This is the most interesting part and the most important part of um, the electric circuit module because uh, electric circuit by itself is not that useful unless you connect it to the other physics in console multiphysics software. So um, let's start. So at first we will create the electrical circuit. To do that I will go to physics then click on add physics and then here inside of ACDC you should have electrical circuit. Click on electrical circuit and then click on add to component. When you click on add to component, the electrical circuit should be added in your file. So first I want to add a voltage source. So right click, click on voltage source and in the voltage source go on and select AC source. The voltage is 1 volt and phase is 0 and then again go to electric circuit right click click on add a resistor again right click click on register so i have two register one voltage and then we will change the nodes so for register one we have p from one to two and for register two we have three to zero and we'll go to voltage source in the voltage source we have one two zero so this is a very small circuit where the potential source is from ground to node one and a resistor is connected from one to two and then from 3 to 0 we have another resistance uh, which is connected to the ground and now the most important part uh, that is we need to create a multiphysics model and then we will try to connect it so I will go to geometry and then inside of geometry let me create a cylinder because we are planning to make a model where we have a cylinder that is a resistor in a form of a cylinder for easy understanding. So here uh, let me write the radius to be 2 mm and the height that is the length to be 25 mm and maybe let it lie along the x-axis and I'll click on build all object so I have the cylinder ready now in the material I'll just click on blank material so let it be uh, I will change the settings later and now let me add one more physics so I'll go to physics and then click on electric currents and then click on add to component now let me drag the electric current to the top and if I go on to materials you will see that I need to add the volume. So for simplicity I will just uh, take the electrical connectivity to be 1 semen per meter and relative permittivity to be 1 because this is just for uh, demonstration. So what's next? Here in the electric current, we have to add a terminal and again, we have to add one more terminal. So the terminal one, we have to select one face and in the terminal two, we have to select the other face. Now here's the interesting part. In the terminal one, we have to select terminal type circuit and in the terminal 2 we have to select circuit again so now the next part 
that is you have to add the external i uh, versus v so if you go on to external i versus u you can click here and you can right click and duplicate to create once more now in the first setting uh, here i want to place it from node 2 to 0 and in the electric potential you have to select terminal voltage 1 similarly select the other i versus u and here select 3 to 0 and then in the plant potential select terminal voltage from the EC physics so let us understand what is happening here now in the electric circuit we have two terminals and the terminal type is circuit so we have two terminal on the two end of the cylinder now the value of the potential and current will be fed from the circuit and the values will get from the electric circuit uh, physics so here from the node 2 to 0 the potential drop v will be sent back to terminal 1 similarly here the potential will be sent to terminal 2 and then the simulation will happen and it will calculate the resistance and so on so hope you got the idea how it works so now our next task is to add a study so here i will add a stationary study and then in the study i can have a frequency domain study i have to use my arrows uh, so i'll go to frequency domain frequency domain and select so here uh, i'll not use the stationary so i'll just right click and disable it in the frequency domain let me just test the model so at hertz i'll just scan the model at 10 hertz okay and as you can see that both the module are used and i'll run the model let's see what happens so the simulation has started yes and the simulation is done so let's see what is going on i'll just close the study tab and as you can see the maximum potential drop we have is 0.7 volt and the minimum is 0.25 so let's see what is going on in the electric circuit we have a voltage source of 1 volt and then it is connected to a resistance and another resistance at 3 to 0 then we have external i versus v from 2 that is after resistor 1 and the other external point is connected from 3 to 0 and 3 is connected to resistance 2 also now these two nodes are then feedback to the terminals of the electric current and the electric current as a whole is a multiphysics problem because here we define our material and try to simulate the value of resistance in the material so this is how we solve the problem so as you expect since the potential drop in total is one volt and we have few resistor connected to it here we have thousand ohm and the other resistance is also thousand ohm so we get a potential drop across the cylinder to be 0.75 volt so let me change the value of resistor let me take this um, let's say one ohm and the other resistance is also one ohm and try to simulate let's see what kind of result we will get maybe we will get close to one volt yeah as you can see that the maximum volt is one volt in the model because the resistance is too low that is one ohm so most of the potential drop will occur through the cylinder so this is how um, 
you solve the multiphysics problem using the electric circuit module in Gamsol multiphysics. Hope you liked this video. If you do, then uh, do give a like and subscribe to this channel. This channel is mainly based on science and engineering. And also, if you want to check out my courses, you can do that. Uh, the links are there in the description. Uh, if you want to support me, you can do that also. So that's all. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day ahead.